More profit for you, I wish. It sounds good. somewhere from West Texas, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that that's a, what's going on. Yeah. For normal, that's, that's like a breeze in West Texas. That's good. Um, so, and then, uh, I'm going to ask you the story of how you guys kind of got together and how you decided to
are watching the Hub Network, the studio show, people, community, progress. But welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Glad to have everybody here with us. Uh, a couple things. This is our tenth show uh, since we relaunched the show on February fifteenth um, this year, and uh, Chuck Claxton and Nick Myers were our first guests on here. We appreciate those guys. We've had a long string of guests, obviously nine other guests that we've had in here, and actually more than that when we did election coverage and uh, some other things uh, there. Speaking of election coverage, uh, one update for the uh, school board election that happened uh, last April 4th as well. Um, Brian Swanzinger did, did win that election, uh, and he also made a statement that same uh, next board meeting for the Cushing board, uh, board of Education that he would not take that seat based on the conditions of affinity and those sorts of things. And so that seat remains open, uh, and so the school board will have to, to fill that seat now. And uh, so uh, there is an application process. The way they've decided to move forward is there's an application process. We put up uh, a link to that on our Facebook page, the Studio Show's Facebook page, and the Cushing Hub Network Facebook page. You can find those there, and there's, they're taking those applications until April 27th. So if you have a desire to uh, get beat up to a point, here's your chance. Uh, just fill out that application and submit it to seat. So uh, the other thing I want to mention, uh, uh, next show, uh, after this one, more drama. He's got a with the kids coming up called Mamma Mia. It's a three act musical as a, as a drama instructor there. You'll see some more promos for that. But mark your calendars for April 28th, 29th, and 30th. There'll be uh, two shows on the 28th and 29th at 7 p.m. And Saturday the 29th, she'll also do a matinee on the, at 1 o'clock. And then Sunday the 30th, she'll do a matinee at 2 o'clock as well for that. So mark that on your calendar, too. We're going to have her, before that production happens, uh, uh, next Wednesday, we will have her in studio. We'll talk to her about that. Maybe show a few little of the, the, uh, the, the kids and what they're working on. And they're doing a great job. It's, it's heavily choreographed. The choreographer's from OSU, so they've done some guns some, uh, on, on helping all music. Uh, very little dialogue. There is dialogue in it, but it's a lot of music, and I think the kids are having a good time with that. Uh, we look forward to that uh, as well. We have our today. We've got three guests. I think it's the most the most guests we've had in here for any show yet. So the tenth show, they get the privilege of crowding around this small table we have, really built for two people uh, or two police officers with a lot of gack on. They were barely fit, but they did anyway. But uh, now we can fit uh, our guests uh, in here at the table. But uh, when we come back, we're going to visit Robert and Yvonne Gideon of Daylight Donuts and Donna Bags of Simply Ground. And uh, we're going to hear from them and kind of what they've got going on together and, and the collaboration that they're, they're working on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back here on the studio show. We'll be right back. The studio show is brought to you in part by Stillwater Transfer and Storage and AAA Self Storage. At Davis Dental Studio, patients are our friends. Unlike the big commercial facilities, Davis Dental Studios wants you to know not just a number. We strive to bring personal and quality service to each patient. Dr. Rebecca Davis has over 18 years of experience as a passionate she and her highly trained staff will make sure your visit is a positive one. So remember, when you and your family need dental care, Davis Dental Studio, you're not just a patient, you're a friend. In my mind, I was never going to walk right again. Before we were through, we had walked 23 steps. And that was my first steps of This patient is saying thank you. Bank of Cushing. Blue Sky Bank, Bahuska. Wants you to know they are still the same friendly hometown bank. Local people that live, work, and worship right here in Cushing. Providing you the same great service, more convenient products, making your local banking experience a great bank serving a great community. Bank of Cushing, a branch of Blue Sky Bank, Bahuska. Since 2003, Pro Events has had
singular focus, great audio, video, and lighting systems. Never confusing our industry with the PC crowd, Pro Events always provides you with the best, most reliable options for your school or corporate training facility make your system stand out from the crowd and remember For the best AV, you know where to go visit Pro Events Pro. the studio show is brought to you in part by water transfer and storage and AAA self storage and we are back here on the studio show glad you're with us today in studio today, in the hot seats, we have Donna Bags, right here to my immediate right, Yvonne Gideon, and Robert Gideon, uh, owners of Daylight Donuts, and, and Donna, you own Simply Grant. Now, that is a new business down there in the, we decided to call it the uh, Plaza, State Farm Plaza, instead of Strip Mall. Robert was having some issues with the, with the yes. Strip Mall, so we <laughs> decided to call it the Plaza, and... and uh, uh, Later, if that's if that, I will give the official name from Randy Robinette. But uh, at State Farm, right there on the end where that drive through is, there, there's been a couple other businesses there in the past. People are probably familiar with where that is, but uh, but that's your place, Simply Ground. Tell us a little bit about, about what you guys do, are doing there. Yes, it is. So, we are a small family owned coffee shop. Uh, we specialize in craft coffees, specialty coffees. You know, we do all the hot drinks with uh, from a latte, cappuccinos, Americanos, espressos to people walking in and ordering their favorite Starbucks drinks and giving us uh, ideas of what they like, and we recreate that for them. And so no problem with somebody coming in and says, this is what I get at Starbucks, and, and then you try to emulate that, whip that up. You've got all the stuff in there to, to do all that kind of stuff. So it's really a kind of a customize your own coffee kind of can be. Place. It can yeah. be. We have, a, we have a menu, but people okay. do come in and they say, we have a lot of people say, I don't drink coffee, uh, help me out. So we kind of guide and direct them. We have a kind of a questionnaire, if you will. The baristas are very good okay. about questioning and getting them what they like. Yeah, very good. Any other, any other things? It's obviously, we're going to talk about this later, about the uh, the uh, the pastries and the other donuts and that sort of thing. But anything else besides what's on the menu? What else is on the menu? So for, for breakfast, we do offer a lot of items. We do collaborate with Daylight Donuts, but we off, we also offer uh, other pastries, oatmeal, fruits, fresh fruits, yogurts. Wow. Uh, for lunch, we do a walking taco, a fresh green salad, and uh, mini pizzas. So you're serving lunch there as well. Yes. So that's that's kind of news to me. I say I should know I should know that already, but I I didn't ask that. In the pre-interview, okay. So, so you're open at. Oh, I can't, man. You guys are, all of you guys. Maybe we'll exclude Yvonne, maybe a little yeah. bit here. Yeah. But up at way earlier than I want to be up. I can tell you that. But what time are you open at every morning? I open at five thirty Monday through Friday, five thirty a.m. to six p.m. and Saturdays seven to two. Well, you could probably wake up. Come on, Saturdays <laughs> seven o'clock. Jeez, <laughs> same for you, Rob. I mean, I know this is. Robert and Yvonne, not good to have you guys here in the studio too. You guys, and you guys, you're creating traffic, you know, for people in Cushing with yes. all this construction going on. Yes, it's our fault. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. They just wouldn't redo that street, right? Yeah. Would you know? Actually, right. Car links out there. So oh, maybe it, yeah, because I of mean, the, I think it's a good good. When, when, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, not a lot of people would look at it that way. They yeah. would say this could really mess up. See anybody deterred from getting their morning donut? No, uh, no. So that's a good thing. Occasionally, somebody waiting down the road. And, yeah. So, so Donna, you're getting up like it. I mean, you get there at open at five thirty, so you're probably your day starting at what three, two? Three thirty. Three thirty. Mm -hmm. That's that's not day. That's nighttime, as far as I'm concerned. But Robert, yours is about the same. I mean, you're a little earlier than that, I think. Yeah. Two of my guys. They one starts at two thirty. The other come in at three, and then on Fridays and Saturdays. Two and two thirty. Wow! Unless we got a big, big order, and then we might come in a little bit earlier than that. So. Yeah, and that whole process. I mean, you guys. Uh, I mean, that's that's a lot to. Some of that's that's a lot to do. Sometimes you're making everything from scratch. Yeah, every day. Every day. Everything's fresh. And uh, that's that's an important thing because uh, man, it, it's a great place. It smells good. Mm -hmm. isn't it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, only you. Only you say that, right? <laughs> Oh gosh. So so Donna, tell me how how the Yvonne, we're gonna get to you eventually. We got a lot of we got a lot of uh, questions for you too, but I one, the first question is how do you put up with Robert? But we'll get but don't answer that now. We don't I have another time <laughs> commercial break, but uh, 
uh, Donna, why, why, uh, why coffee shop? What, what, what did you do before Simply Grounds, and what got you started in thinking that you wanted to do this and get up that early every morning? So growing up, my dad had family-style restaurants that uh, I grew up in, waiting tables, washing dishes, that type of thing. Um, I knew at the age of 18 that's not what I wanted to do my whole life because it is hard work. Robert can attest. We've already discussed that. Um, I went into education, so I spent 40 years in education, wow. retired as a elementary school principal. Wow. Okay. Um, we moved back home to Oklahoma from Miami, Florida, and got to Cushing and uh, just noticed. I have to stop you right there. Not many people move from Florida, the tip of Florida down there, back to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. were, you, were you from here to begin with? Uh, I was born in Midwest City. Okay. And right. uh, lived in Ida Bell for 16 years. Okay, so you had some ties yes. in this area. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, yep, so we moved back here and just, you know, visiting the community, being around the community, saw that there was no, no coffee shops. So I thought coffee shops are a good idea. So here we are. Here you are. And getting up at 3.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it as late as I possibly can just to make myself feel better about it. Uh, Robert, uh, same thing. Uh, so, you know, Yvonne, so when Robert came to you and said, now how long have you guys, how long have you owned the donut in, shop? In May, May 7th will be five years. Five years. Yeah. So five and a half years ago, or let's just whenever that was. Yeah. You, you were, in eternity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You guys survived this, obviously. That was five years. So what, what were your thoughts when Robert said, hey, I want to buy the donut oh. shop? inside was no, no <laughs> please no screaming no but I felt very compelled that I was supposed to just not if I can't say yes just don't say no and I felt very led by the Holy Spirit to do that sure and so I was very quiet and he was and I helped him get everything set up and worked for him for the first was it a year year and a half I don't know we I was there for you know all the startup and getting everything going and um and he's like thinking I'm all for it, which I was. I just was like, you know, getting up and going. There was no life outside of just getting up and going to work and then coming home. And you got to get a few things done and then get right to bed so you can get up the next day. And I'm just, I have four kids that I'm still trying to be there for and him and laundry and the towels for the shop and just all. And then the, now I've learned how to do the book work, which I was never <laughs> compelled to learn bookkeeping, but I know. So. Some of these things just, I mean, when you're in business for yourself, I mean, it's almost a necessity sometimes yeah. because you have to have, you have to do that kind of stuff. You have to do it well if, you, if the business is going to survive mm -hmm. and thrive. And so those things, those things are difficult sometimes. And it's not just like any business, oh, I'm going to work at 9 o'clock, I'm leaving at 5 o'clock. No, you pick the business that is probably mm -hmm. the worst side of the restaurant business. Even, even Donna said, you know, she didn't want to do the normal family-style restaurants, you know, but... Restaurant business is tough to begin with, mm -hmm. but then you pick one that you got to get up at two in the morning, three in the morning, uh, to work these. And it's not just like this week; that's like all the time. It's a lifestyle, is it not, Robert? Well, for starters, you don't get up at oh well, uh, you two, three. You, you get up earlier than that, yeah. so you can get pretty. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, you, okay. you have to, you have I don't to, just get up like this. Like you don't so. just look like that. Ah. <laughs> I have to work a little bit on that. So you're getting up like at 10 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, sometimes you start, I do. You start if I have something in my mind, <laughs> I not, might not even go to sleep. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Well, but that, but, but that is, but it is a it is a lifestyle. It, it's very different, it's very isn't different. it, just to be in that business anyway. Would you yes. not agree? Because yes, you're really working when people are kind of hmm. letting off ready. the gas a little bit. Like they're, they're, they're kind of done for the day or they're not, they're going to work or whatever. I mean, they're just starting to think about it. And you've been there for... Four, five, six hours. Well, I'm sometimes. telling him good night when he's going to work and saying good morning mm -hmm. most yeah. of the time. Gosh. So a little getting used to that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Man. You don't really get you don't used really to it. You still, you're still, <laughs> right. still doing it. Just adjust. You know? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's interesting. How, 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 so, how, how has everything been working so far? I mean, you've, got, you've had five years to kind of get some of those things ironed out. Yvonne, is, are things looking good, Robert? Are things looking good? We're doing very well. You know, uh, um, we were doing well. Uh, the, when we first started, I'm basically learning an entirely new profession. So, um, didn't know how to make a donut. And uh, I asked the previous owners if I could come in and learn a little bit before they left. And they said, no, we'll stay with you. We'll, we'll teach you for two weeks, you know. 
and I could see why they wouldn't let me come in before I owned it because they <laughs> knew I might back out. <laughs> might say no and uh, anyway, so you know, I'm trying to learn an, an entire profession in two weeks, and I I'll be the first to admit it. We stunk. Our donuts, we were not good at it. We we didn't. I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, it just it was a pretty hard learning curve. You know, when you have customers come in and say, "Hey, you overcook those," or "You undercook those," or you 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 really have to appreciate them wanting to help you right. instead of being offended by it. Right. And I was never offended by it. That's where we differed, uh, though. You know, I, I wasn't did. offended. I, I, I welcomed the criticism. I come to him, I'd say, somebody's at the window and they're really being mean. And he's like, I'll handle it. <laughs> but, you know, it. It is, you know, I couldn't do it. That, that is interesting because we had, you know, we had Lee Denning in here last week and she, of course, she's been a very successful politician for a long time. And she said the same thing. You know, you can't take your profession personally, especially mm -hmm. when it's something that's very public. When you're, when you're working with the public, working with the general public, you kind of have to take yourself out of the mix, your personal feelings a little bit, yeah. and because they're going to tell you, you know, if you're on stage or you're a politician or you're in in retail or you're in in, a, in the food industry, I mean, people are going to let you know if they don't like something, and so uh, yeah. that that takes a lot of that takes a lot of gumption to just get through that and to perfect something so that you can serve your customers well. Speaking of that, just tell us what your customers are to you though, you guys, I mean, you got, you've gotten through that now. So what, what do your customers mean to you because of that? Um, I've heard from others, uh, they hate their customers and we <laughs> love our customers. I mean, we honestly do. And I think it's just a mindset. Um, we try to learn everybody's name and um, we're not real good at it. Sometimes I just call them the wrong name because it's easier. <laughs> I remember, um. and but we we really do know everybody. Uh, we know what, you know if I ask somebody how they're doing and they really share, you know, I I don't know. I have a weird memory. If they come back three months later, I'll remember what they said. I ask them about it. Uh, so people really a lot to me, and I kid around a lot with every one of them. That it, a lot of times I'm always in the back, so I don't get to interact with the customers a lot but uh, I love telling them jokes I love interacting with the people they appreciate it and, and I get the feedback on Facebook I get a lot of messages and people will send them in messenger yes. I just love going through there it's my favorite time in the morning it's so much fun so I can't I stand these people but right, no. right. <laughs> clearly well you, you must it must obviously there's an enjoyable side of the business and the interaction that you guys get from this because you, you wouldn't get up at 10 o'clock every morning to pretty yourself up to go <laughs> Robert right right if uh, if you did wasn't some aspect of it was very enjoyable and making you know, what you say, that's what it's all about isn't it yeah. yeah sure sure it's got to be the same with you. is this your first business to own I mean is this your first experience in, in owning something no. so tell us a little bit about how you got to to, to this point with simply grant so in just owning the coffee shop. I mean, my husband has been in business um, for himself, not yeah. an engineer. He is an OSU graduate, so um, he's he's been in business for himself. He's an engineering engineering consultant now, trying to retire. Yeah, but, but you're not letting him. He's currently <laughs> in flight back from Miami, so wow. he's not uh, he's he's not there yet either. Sit at home, you know, so kind of workaholic, real like Robert and mm -hmm. Yvonne. Um, you kind of have to be in this business, don't you? I mean, you, you, want to, you do. You, yeah. I, I think, I, like Robert, I didn't realize the 24 on all the time. Uh, and I didn't, and I knew I wasn't ready to retire. So the coffee shop kind of feels that, you know, that time in that void. But it does take a lot of time. We, too, have had the opportunity to get to know. We've only been open four weeks now. Just finished right. our fourth week, and it's been amazing. People have been great, very supportive. They're happy to see that we're working together. Um, they, you know, a lot of nice comments yeah. uh, about that, and people happy to see that two small businesses working together to support each other. I, th I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty cool in a small town. Mm -hmm. Instead of the other way, you know, where there's all the uh, uh, competition and, and kind of the cutthroat competition and the ruthless 
This is more of a collaborative effort, which I think is a good example for businesses. This can use, can sell, can help not only them, but it helps your business, help people coming through that, that want your specific types of uh, products that, that uh, can share in, in another good product as well. And I, I think that's really cool. Businesses that are close in proximity. And uh, you guys <laughs> working together to make uh, something better for the people in, in Cushing. Mm -hmm. Well, in sure. fairness, Donna came to me and I told her no. Oh, really? <laughs> he really okay. did. He said, said no way. And right? I said, why did you tell her no? I wasn't going to tell them. I was. <laughs> I got on to him for saying no. I said, why would but you just... But the more just... I thought about it, yeah. I thought, well, maybe... You know, I, I didn't have any idea how much she wanted or, you know, how, how it would even play out. Right. But either way... Uh, went back to her and said, well, maybe we could do this, you know. That is a good idea. That's a better idea when he said it, right? Exactly. But it's, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to. be his idea. To, <laughs> you plan it, right? Yes. right. I was telling Yvonne, I can't believe people are coming into town. Don't take away my, my coffee business. Yeah. Uh, oh All God. 15 of them. All 15 of your coffee drinkers, huh? <laughs> and, and do you know how to make a latte or a frappuccino? No. Or okay, well, so we would oh, I don't want to either. It is better. Can I sell it? Maybe. L O T A. <laughs> wow. That's called late. Uh, <laughs> like 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 when you get up, it's late yeah. for the rest of us in, yeah. in the evening. You'll edit that. I'm oh, sure. I'm sure I will. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but uh, well, that, that's interesting. And, and and how did you guys get the idea to to get together and, and collaborate? Well, where did that? Is that just, just something you that, thought it would be a good yeah, idea? I mean, I just thought that coffee and donuts would be good. Sure. And I thought that, I mean, you know, they go together. Um, and I didn't have a source, but coming to Cushing and, and coming back home and just not knowing a lot of people anymore, um, I thought that it would be a good way to collaborate with another small business and help his business as well as mine, right. not knowing, I mean, I didn't know what his business was. I, I mean, like how successful they were. And I wasn't familiar with Daylight, but I thought, the worst thing says no, and he did. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, but oh, yeah, okay. now I'm rubbing it, rub it in. <laughs> and it was, that was okay. I understood. And, you know, we had further conversation, and uh, Yvonne came into the coffee shop, and she has supported the coffee shop from the get-go the, and her, her entire family. And uh, anyway, we just got back together and that, reworked it. And that's kind of nice to see. I mean, you did he works there. <laughs> okay. But it's not because that's my next step. <laughs> well, you've got an inside track now. At that's least. Right. I one right when you, when you get that that's very interesting we're, we're going to take a quick break when we come back we'll, we'll ask a few more deeper questions uh, all this stuff and learning the business from the ground up that, that's jumping into a business that you really knew nothing about Robert that was uh, stupid well, well, I, <laughs> oh I, I knew what you were getting I wasn't going to say that exactly I was going to be a little yeah, nicer but nice. you said but hey listen come back we'll, we'll, we'll hear a little bit more about this so stick with us we'll be right back We'll be right back. The Studio Show is brought to you in part by Stillwater Transfer and Storage. Fillet Self Storage. Oh, hello, Whitney. How hello, are you? John. So here's the proposal packet for the new mobile app. As long as I'm running this thing, there ain't gonna be no mobile app. Introducing the new mobile app, making your banking experience even easier. It's so easy, even John can use it. Bank of Cushing, a branch of Blue Sky Bank, Paul Huska. We have a help tab. If you need help, we will have... I only help. I'm pretty good at this. You are good at this. Since 2003, Pro Events has had one singular focus. Great audio, video, and lighting systems. Never confusing our industry with the PC crowd. Pro Events always provides you with the best, most reliable options for your house of worship, school, or corporate training facility. Make your system stand out from the crowd. And remember... For the best AV, you know where to go visit ProEvents.pro and nurses that really truly care about their patients that translates into patient care it's a small practice it's a small town everybody really takes that time to put the patient first everybody cares what's happening to me and that I'm making progress and I'm gaining my freedom back and my mobility this patient is saying thank you 
At Davis Dental Studio, our patients are our friends. Unlike the big commercial facilities, Davis Dental Studios wants you to know you're not just a number. We strive to bring personal and quality service to each patient. Dr. Rebecca Davis has over 18 years of experience as a caring and compassionate dentist. She and her highly trained staff will make sure your visit is a positive one. So remember, when you and your family need dental care, Davis Studio, you're not just a patient, you're a friend. RCB Bank is more than a transaction. We work to make your life easier. We help build your business. We finance your dreams. We grow your legacy. We build relationships with our communities. Come in to find out why our customers always say, RCB Bank, that's my bank. All right, and that is the email address for the show. If you want to have a suggestion for uh, somebody to be on, uh, please send it to us. If you have a question for, you can look at our calendar and our upcoming uh, guest. And if you have a question you want to specifically direct to uh, one of those guests, please send it to us and we will ask that question uh, when it comes time. So I want to get back to uh, Robert and Yvonne Gideon, Daylight Donuts, Donna Bags with uh, Simply Ground. Ground or grounds? Ground. Ground. Simply ground. i got to make myself say that, right? Somehow I want to put the S on it, but simply ground. And uh, we were just kind of talking in the break here a little bit about, you know, the difference between locally owned businesses and a more corporate atmosphere. And, uh, you know, in the corporate, corporate atmosphere, I mean, first of all, it's just a job to those people. It's, they're not directly involved. They're not really reaping the benefit. And the benefit is not the monetary compensation, sometimes it's the relationships. Is that not right, Robert? Is that how you kind of see it? Um, yeah, yeah, very much so, yeah. I love my customers, I tell them jokes. Uh, I, I wanna tell, talk about Roscoe, okay? Roscoe? You know who Roscoe is, right? What's his last name? Neil. Neil. Coach, oh, Coach, oh, Neil. Coach Neil. Coach Roscoe Neil, Neil. Well, of course, he yeah. He comes you know into Roscoe. the shop, right? He, he came in for months, and he brings Bandit. Bandit's his, his dog. dog. Okay. Okay, Bandit sits up at the window, his window, and and we give out dog treats. And uh, almost all of our customers, well, not almost all, many of our customers will say, well, our dog won't eat this. Well, they all eat our dog treats. They do. They just do. And they're soft, chewy, milk bone, okay, for anybody who wants to know. And well, you're going to have a line of pets coming in your we store. We do. Next, <laughs> I know Bandit's name. Next time you open up, you've okay. you got with the whipped cream. Yeah. So, Bandit, whenever whenever they pull off, Bandit would just brrr, he'd just start barking, and he did this. I mean, he just you know kind of startle you, and uh, and this went on for quite some time, probably a year, and then it dawned on me, he's saying goodbye. I mean, Bandit will not bark until you say see you later, and then. Brrr, and he tears up. I mean, he tears it up, and it's so funny. Some that treat he wants to eat that before he can, and he can't say goodbye. It's hilarious. But Bandit is saying goodbye to us, and we love Bandit. Yeah. Well, that's a that's a. I mean, with with anybody just uh, flipping a burger or doing something, just filling an order. Right? Where I used to work at, they didn't want me. To <laughs> well, I wonder why. If I'm thinks, let's go back there. <laughs> Coded get, messages in there. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. It's good. Well, no, we, were, we were talking about that. We, we were talking about an education, and you've seen the, the upside and downside of that, too. A teacher is not just a teacher. I mean, they have to really be uh, focused on the, the kids in there a little bit and not just punching a time clock. I mean, that never works. So you've translated that now to your, your own business yeah. in Simply Ground. Yes. So what's I, your perception of that? I think that it's important that that you bring the community in, that you connect with the community on whatever level, whatever level that is. If it's, uh, you know, we have people that come in and they, they're on their way to work, and it could be in the afternoon they're going in for a second shift or they're getting off work and they're coming, you know, they're getting ready to go home. But just to connect connect with them in any way, I don't have the the jokes that they <laughs> Has, but we do he's, he's got a book. He's yeah, got a book. We're phone. close enough. I could probably just dial him in and do that. Yeah. But 
But you know, we do have conversations, and we're learning. We're learning uh, mm-hmm. our customers, and uh, and they're learning us, and that's fun. And I'm yeah. and I'm having a good time getting to know people. And that that's that's the big that's the big reward, isn't it? Really, yes. I mean, is obviously you have to pay the bills and you have to do all the stuff and make the monetary transaction. But if people enjoy coming there, if they enjoy who they're interacting with, mm-hmm. or they get to know you, they want to want to do business with people that know them a little bit too. I, I would think that's the experience you guys have a little bit. Yeah. Some people get a little awkward when I say I love you. <laughs> oh, we did talk about that yeah, before you ever mentioned that. And uh, but I'll follow He's them out the them door. Down. <laughs> I will follow them and get an I love you out of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the first one to respond will say I love you back, and I'll go. I, I was talking to your wife. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I get to say it to two people. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I mean, now Yvonne, you deal with this. All the time, mm-hmm. obviously. So, <laughs> so it may not be a bad thing that he's gone to work oh. early. You get some peace and quiet, right? Well, but, but you're really, you're really doing, you're really doing a lot of the behind the scenes <clears throat> labor here a little bit. I mean, keeping books, keeping things straight, keeping his, his, uh, his uh, business uh, mind lined out, right? A little bit. Sure. But it's, it's, it's another word popped in there. But go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is something that you guys both had to learn to do, kind of find what your role was and what was going to be to operate this uh, this business. And so, how does that evolve for you a little bit? Uh, well, she I've does had, great. I've had it's good. <laughs> wonderful. It's good to say, Robert. That's good. Yes. Yeah. So let's go back to. I want to go back and talk about the the name, the marketing name you had mm-hmm. on Daylight Donuts, because uh, Gid's Domain, mm-hmm. and uh, I first saw that a few years ago when we started doing the magazine and that sort of thing, and you guys had that graphic, and I thought, man, what a what a neat name, that's really cool. So tell us a little bit how that, how you came up with that, who came up with that, and who designed it? We had a list of names, of ideas, and yeah. Elizabeth suggested, our daughter suggested Gid's Domain, and then he, I, were you the one that suggested to spell it that way? I thought you put it together to put it, spell it that I way. I don't know. But, I don't and I so, slept since then. So. Well, and then so when we got to thinking about it, well, it makes sense to use, spell it with dough, like bread dough. You know, he's rolling and then, you know, making a connection Street. to the money all the <coughs> way down Main Street. Right. Instead of like you normally would D-O-M-A-N. And so with the hyphen. And then we asked our son Gibson, who's a graphic designer and very, very does great very well. at what he does. Absolutely. And he came up with this design, and then we just like we love it, and so we put it on T-shirts. And he's created, he created the ad that you use yeah. for us on the, the, the breakfast is ready. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah it's awesome. He created all of that. He's created a lot for us. We'd like him to get back in and create new stuff, but he's just busy. And so sure. one of these days we might redesign. But right now people is he still is he still in school? Is he? No, he's he not. just works you know, for. <laughs> online digital signage company. I got you. Okay. really good. So he's doing that design he's work. He's still doing yeah, it, yeah. Absolutely, that's good. Busy's code for he just doesn't come around. Oh, now, now, <laughs> he doesn't, now. He doesn't call mom and dad very often? So, no. He's got a woman in his life, so who's... Well, and that, you, know, you know he doesn't need money, right, if he hadn't called, oh, right? Right? So right, right, right? That's a good thing, right? Yes, all of my kids are fairly responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Notice I said fairly. Oh, now. <laughs> well, you did have one half they had to deal with yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So Donna, how about you? You have any any kids still at home? Anybody still, uh, you know? Um... I have uh, two daughters. They're both okay. in healthcare. Oh, uh, that's right. Okay, yes. Two daughters in healthcare and have grandchildren. I have um, I have three grandchildren. Wow. One in okay. Ida Bell, and my daughter there is a nurse practitioner, and has her own clinic there. And then I have a daughter that works at uh, Cushing right now. Okay, so very good. And you you mentioned earlier that you were kind of trying to come up with something to highlight or take care of benefit maybe the first responders and people of that sort so tell us a little bit about what you have got going so there. i've had the opportunity to um i i like to try to i don't want to say cater to but that i just have a special place in my heart for educators because through and it's a tough time education is a tough place right now sure um, first responders you know it's 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 tough right now our world is a tough place so if it's something that i can do to make their day a little easier then i'm, I'm for for those two, um, I've had the opportunity to provide coffee meetings <clears throat> at the hospital um, to run drinks by. You know, just you know, I had a few minutes so I can just run some drinks by somewhere and drop them off. And uh, working with some of the teachers, and, you know, that have come in. So I've had that opportunity to do that. And then we have 
planning on working unbeknownst to Robert, but working on some, some things in the future. <clears throat> well, those. you're right there. You're very close to the school. We're right there, especially close to the, the football field, just across the way from mm -hmm. it there. So maybe some things coming in the future that might highlight uh, students in that regard. Or uh, We did start a student for okay. lunch because we do offer hair light lunches, a walking taco, a nice green salad, or mini pizza. So we put together a promotion for the students that they could order ahead. Uh, and just drive by and pick it up because they do have open campus. Right. There's some construction there at the school that kind of deters and, and takes a little bit of time for the walkers, you know, to do that. But so we're working on some promotions, you know, for the school and for the teachers. And Very good. Healthcare workers. Well, hopefully that'll that's only going to get better here in the next few months anyway. Mm -hmm. So maybe by the time school starts back up, a lot mm -hmm. of that will be kind of cleared up or at least be on its way to being cleared up and mm -hmm. be a little bit easier for you. But what a great location uh, for you guys to be right there and easy access. And really, you know, it'll be a lot better for you. I, I guess it will be better for you guys once construction clears up. And maybe you kind of seem to like it. You were saying it. I, uh, I'm always of the mind. If if they want you, they'll find you. Yeah. And uh, and people do. And and uh, our customers, we we do our best to to get them in and out of there as quickly as we can. Right. And. Uh, uh, and people are, our customers are just really, really great. They really are. And I'm not just saying that to, to um, uh, get some more customers. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> always the goal. I'm sorry, did I just went out I was, I was afraid the first half of the show nervous. you were trying not to, but I think. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it, it, the construction, it, it, hey, progress sometimes hurts. And uh, we're doing good. We're yeah. doing real good. Well, I think you're one of the one of the only business owners that have said that that really hasn't bothered them too much. I mean, obviously you have to look out for the things that go on in construction to make it different for your customers for a few months or however yeah. long it takes to do that. But you know, uh, it, it's it's a good sign. I think every day I, I've seen even just in the four weeks that you've been open, I've seen a lot of vehicles there, a lot of people in there. I came in one day and it was just like, well, I was just having to be the first one through the door and it was like, we're all stacked up in here. So I had to get out of the way pretty quick. But same for you. I mean, you can see the car line go all the way out onto the road. And, and Sometimes it's, a good it's thing. pretty intense in there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, it, well, first of all, it's an intense when you're being in there, you get in there at two o'clock in the morning. That's mm -hmm. already intense enough for me. Mm -hmm. But the, it, it moves pretty fast mm -hmm. in this kind of business because it's really a pick up my coffee and I got to go, right? Mm -hmm. So you're pretty responsive to that, the speed of what, at which you uh, attend to your customers, I'm sure. We're very aware of it. And I, one thing that I would really like people to know is that we take, we take time with making the coffee. It's not, we didn't just go to Walmart and buy a tub of coffee and throw that on for you. We have, we're trying to source everything locally or at Good. least within the state. So we get yeah. our coffees from T3 Roasters out of SkyTube. And we grind everything that comes through there. So it comes in fresh. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's within a week old that we've had it and everything is opened and, you know, it's sealed tight and open fresh and everything's ground fresh. So to pull a great espresso shot, which is 95% of our drinks require that, even if you get a nice caramel macchiato, it's got two shots of espresso in it. So it takes 30, 28 to 30 seconds to pull a great shot. So we know that our customers are in a hurry, so we, we do keep that in mind. And as soon as we hear orders come through that drive through or somebody's at the register, we start pulling that shot because time is important and people's time is important. So we do try to get those out um, as quickly as possible. Right. Um, but it does take a little longer when you're in a coffee shop as opposed to driving through another type of drive through and just getting it poured from a, an urn that's been there for how long? You don't know when the coffee was right. made last or whatever. It could have been sitting there for a couple hours or whatever. So. Well, that, that's, so it's really more of a customizable experience with yours because you're ordering a very specific product, you're making it a specific way, mm -hmm. and really to the to the customer's own personal specs a lot yes. of times. Yes. Well, that, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like having our own uh, little Starbucks here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I, I have to compare you to anything. It's I, okay. It's okay. You, it you, said it, you said it first. We hear anyway, They so. come in there and say, you know, the S place. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks. Well, and, you know, a, a smaller town like Cushing probably isn't going to have. Right. A Starbucks because there's just you don't have the, the, the amount of population that they would probably require for that. So mm -hmm. it's nice that you have somebody that's that's capable of doing that. You're in a great location and you're you're very aware of those those things. So if you have something that you love from Starbucks, you can come in and say, Hey, I get this at Starbucks, can you make it? And you you'd be happy to take that on. We get that, that, that a lot. We get that awesome. a lot. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, anything else that you guys want to tell me that we haven't covered about about these two businesses, I can tell you I 
it's it's pretty cool to see them operate and to see them operate this way, especially again the collaboration in a small town like this. It's a very different way and a different, very different approach to business. I think and that's kind of unique, wouldn't you say? That, well, it's not my fault; it's her fault. <laughs> oh, it was her idea. That's right. We don't want to give you too much credit for that. Do I have to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, would, I would like to say sure. that um, I, I appreciate the community and Robert and Yvonne for their support and, and the family support, but the community has really mm -hmm. welcomed us, mm -hmm. Yes, and um, they are very supportive, and uh, they, you know, they come in and they ask, you know, how's it going, how, you know, we want a coffee shop here, Cushing's really needed this, right. um, so I appreciate that, A, we've been able to provide something that, you know, the vision was some you know there was a vision of a coffee shop right. and we were able to put that in and while we're small um, and we are a small business we we do want to please the community of Cushing and we do have people that drive over from Stillwater and turn wow. in different places for for their coffee so I would like to say thank you to those people you know for their support and and appreciate that well that's awesome I think that's a great perspective because it's not everybody that thinks that way it takes people that see one the need and two a way to do it a little bit better than than the next fellow down the, down the street and not not just in a cookie cutter way there it's not a franchise thing right. this isn't something this is something that you personally put your heart and soul into sweat equity into that a little bit and you're right there <coughs> making it for the customers every day they come in right mm -hmm. and even though you may not be in the shop making the donuts he's bringing home leftovers at the end of the day, is he? Not is every he, time. Not every at time. First, for a long time, he did, and but I believe God's hand is on our business, and he's really blessed, and so he sells out a lot, which I'm thankful because when he first, like he said, when he first started making the donuts, he wasn't that great at it, and it was like, <laughs> okay, I mean they were still good, but I was like, <clears> yeah, <throat> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I love you, honey. <laughs> like a canker. And so, um, <laughs> but then he learned the recipe, and he took the time and care to learn the specifics and the details of the recipe. Well, there's a lot it. more to it than just the recipe. I mean, there's. Just, well, I'm just you know, saying all the details. There's a recipe. This. Don't get me wrong. Well, and the, things, the things they don't tell you, right? Humidity. Right. I mean, there's. Oh, you know. If you do killer. it specific to the recipe, <laughs> do the details right, the donut now that he makes. And when he started making them that way, and they were light and fluffy, and they melt in your mouth, and I'm like, I don't like you anymore. Because now when I smell them, I don't necessarily enjoy the smell that he comes home with, but I, but the donuts, they're wonderful. Well, I'm, telling I'm you, very thankful. It, uh, it's like anything else. If you work down there, I'm sure you're, you're tired of the smell, right? But when you walk in there, my goodness, you're like, hmm. I just can't wait to wash the towels and clothes that he's wearing as quick as I can. To get get that, the donut smell off of it, yeah. yeah but, but, I mean, it, it is such, I mean, sometimes wonderful. you can smell that outside, too. You can smell it. Oh, yeah. It, it permeates Apple outside. fritters, man, when we're cooking those bad boys, I'm telling you. It's, yeah. it's a good good whiff outside, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And just like just like the, 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 the specialty customized coffees that she's making, the sausage roll, I mean, that's another thing. That Don't those things go crazy good. with... Uh, yes, Yes and no. One day they're great, the next, next day, day they're not. not so. But it's okay. Um, is it is it a seasonal thing, kind of no, like in the no, winter time maybe? Just, no? I think it's a financial thing. Okay. People, you know, Donna, I was telling her like Monday mm -hmm. I made a certain amount, sold out. Tuesday, I got to give a lot of donuts no, away, away at the end of the day, and she said Tuesday she had a slow day. You know, so it's not it's, indig 